I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Yo prometo lealtad a la bandera de los Estados Unidos de América y a la república que representa una nación bajo Dios, indivisible con libertad y justicia para todos. Wonderful job, eighth graders. All right, we have it going now.
survive it out there, can we make it somehow? I guess I thought that this would never end. And suddenly it's like women and men. Will the past be a shadow that will follow us round? Will this memories fade when I leave this town? I keep, keep thinking that it's not goodbye. I keep on thinking it's a time to fly. Without you, my friend And I'll tell you all about it 
when I see you again We've come a long way from where we began Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again When I see you Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Let's give a round of applause for, to uh, Miss Manny for putting that together one more time. Miss Manny, phenomenal job. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Manny. You allowed us to take a walk down memory lane. We appreciate it. My eighth grade class, parents, thank you for coming out. We thank you for your partnership. Eighth graders, you are here to be recognized. You guys have done a phenomenal job academically. Your maturation rate has grown tremendously, and we're excited to see what high school brings you. But just remember, in three months when you enter high school, the next four years can change the trajectory of your lives. So academics must be put first. Everything else will fall into place. Make sure you do well academically. Make sure you use the supports to help you academically to succeed. So without further ado, I do have to recognize and introduce to you our Board of Ed President, Ms. Tracy Mayers. I'd like you to bring greetings if you don't mind. Let's give a round of applause for Ms. Mayers, please. Good morning. I didn't mean to make you nervous, Mr. Smith, I'm sorry. Good morning. Thank you for giving me a few minutes of your time to our families and our parents. Thank you for coming out this morning. I know some of you may have had to take off of work, so I truly appreciate that. The Board of Education is a body of seven volunteer individuals that have been elected by you, the parents and families community here, to oversee the tax dollars and how we use your money to run the school district, okay? And so I thank you for your support. I thank you for coming out. I wanted to take a minute to say that. To our students, we are your biggest advocates. We'd love to see you. I would have all seven here if they didn't have to work, if they could make it. Please know we truly value your student voice. This year we have added a student who's a senior onto our Board of Education. So we want to hear from you. We need to hear from you and how you're learning. I know that you're leaving eighth grade, going into high school. I want to thank you for coming to school each day because many of you know that some of your peers do not come to school, some of your peers are not doing well. So it's, um, it's great that you were able to get up and come to school every day, do what you needed to do to get through the eighth grade. So I wanted to commend you for that. We're losing some of you. Some of you are going to different schools for ninth grade. You may be moving, you may be leaving. When you leave, I just want you to keep in mind the things that you've learned here at Woodlands, how to deal with adversity, how to take the benefits of diversity and make that work for you, okay? How to push through any situation that you're faced with and make it in your new high school if you're leaving us. For those of you that are staying, we're gonna continue to have time together. I'm gonna continue to see you guys, whether I'm on the Board of Ed or not, because I'm a parent. Actually, many of us are parents on the Board of Ed this year. We have four parents. Three of us are right here in the middle high school with you, okay? So those of you that are saying, I look forward to seeing more of you. I look forward to you working hard. You are going to be Falcons, and we expect you to soar. Thank you for your time, and have a good morning, okay? At this time of the program, I'd like to introduce to you our superintendent of schools, Dr. Iverson.
So good morning. Good morning to everyone here assembled. I want to begin uh, by again recognizing our Board of Trustees. Um, Trustee Maris just spoke and uh, she said a lot of what I would be at what, what I'm going to say today, uh, what I did here that she said that I know this true from our hearts is that the Board of Trustees uh, are so committed to the district, to the community, to parents, to the students. And so is your superintendent. We work very, very closely together and we meet often and in every one of our meetings, every decision we make, we make it from the, from the space of what is best for students. So it looks like a lot of decisions are made at this level, but ultimately the decisions are made for the impact what's going to make Greenberg Central School District the very best for the students here assembled. So to the Board of Trustees and our esteemed president, Trustee Mayors, and Mr. Smith, who's the principal of this high school, whom I work very closely with. I probably talk to Mrs. Smith maybe once a day sometimes several times a day, to his administrative team, Mr. Brady and Ms. Enriquez. They're part of the administrative team. I meet with them monthly, and I'm so invested in hearing and meeting with them around the high school because I know this is where it all ends. This is where it all culminates. Every grade level, every school along your path, eighth graders, was important, but it's gotten you to this point. So I need to meet and stay in touch with that, and so the meetings with the administrators helps me do that. So I'm bringing you greetings this morning on behalf of Central Administration. I have with me the Assistant Superintendent for Business along here on the right side. She and I talk a lot, and she's the funding person. She's the one who guides how we use the money and the taxes that your parents pay. And I have an assistant superintendent who helps me with curriculum, instruction, and personnel. Together, that team and building administrators, all the directors, we meet monthly to make decisions and to think about how better we can do for you. Because I'm a person of the mindset that school systems get better Students do better when the adults in the system are doing the very best we can. We owe it to you. We're committed to you. And for that reason, that's how we approach the work. So today is one of those great occasions when we get to celebrate you, our students, your achievements, your perseverance, and your successes up to this point. You know, I can tell you I was a middle school principal for many years. And I, and I can't tell you the love I had for that grade level. But I know how important eighth grade is. You're culminating, you're done, you're finished with eighth grade. Because that transition now into high school, as you heard your principal say, is very important. So it is one of the times you can take right now, today, take a break and reflect, feel good. As a parent, feel good. As a mentor, feel good. As a student, feel good. Knowing that you took care and you're doing just fine and you have arrived at this point. So recognition ceremonies to me can be seen as a coming of age almost. You know, it's a coming of age. You're moving now into the, to the next phase of your educational journey. It's a sort of an official way to recognize when you, a person takes steps into the next stage of life. And that's what you're doing today. You're stepping into the next phase of your educational journey very important phase, the last four years of your journey. With every year, you have become, I'm sure, a little more independent. You had some great times this year, I'm sure. Maybe you had some tough times, because middle school's tough. I will tell you, out of all grades, the elementary, middle, high, middle is tough, because you was, we all grew through those pains of growing up. And it's when students start to challenge and think, Am I going, I know what my mom and my dad have taught me. I have very solid values. They've taught me good, bad, right, wrong. Now I need to, I, do I believe it? I'm, they start testing those things. So it's a very, very difficult age, but it's an age of growth that we all go through. And you did that well this year. So you become more independent. You're making better decisions. You had great times. And you did it. You succeeded. And you're ready for the next step. So I trust and I hope you feel we have prepared you well for high school and that you are prepared to reach your fullest potential. We are confident that you are ready. We're confident you're ready to move to the ninth grade. 
And we know we are going to support you through these transitions and the routines as you matriculate. So take the chance to dedicate now. You have time now to say, I'm going to rededicate myself to making next year even better. Remember that you don't have to follow the crowd. Do the right thing. Character is doing the right thing, whether anyone's looking at you or not. Do the right thing. Make the best decisions for you. Study hard. And remember that you're investing in you. You're investing in you because high school, 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th grade, all of that will follow you into your college and into your life. So it's important now. These are the... The mic went out, I'm sorry. So study hard and remember that you're investing in yourself and every test, every test that you take, every book that you read, remember you're doing it with the mindset that you want to do your very best. Don't be too much of in a hurry to grow up. You have plenty of time for there. There are great times ahead in your life. Don't rush. Don't rush past them. Great things are coming. You just be patient. Work hard. Take your time. Small things lead up to those big things. Just as your parents are proud of you, each of you should be proud today of what you've accomplished. So congratulations, eighth graders. I'm so proud of you, to all of you for your accomplishments. And to the parents, finally, I want to say to you, we couldn't do this work without you. We know you're our partner in this work. We know that you support us and we appreciate that. And to the teachers here at Symbol, thank you for what you do every day with the students. We have the best teachers here. We have very good, talented students. And I'm so honored to be the superintendent and I'm so honored that you let me work with you. Thank you so much, have a great day. Congratulations, students. Thank you, Dr. Iverson, for bringing greetings. Now uh, our assistant principal, Mrs. Henriquez, would like to say a few words also. Hi, guys. Good morning, everyone, and welcome here to celebrate these wonderful eighth graders that are graduating, moving forward into high school. It has been a pleasure getting to know each and every one of you. It's wonderful that our school is so small, so I could see them and know them personally, walking in the hallways, visiting them in classrooms, and I have seen them mature and grow a lot throughout the year. Especially after the April break, it's a whole new group of kids have walked into the building. And I know, as Dr. Iverson mentioned, you are more than ready to go into ninth grade. And I want you eighth graders to take a look around right now. Look at the sides. These are your parents, your family, your loved ones. This is your biggest support that you have. And they are here to celebrate with you this great accomplishment that you have uh, done. I'm getting emotional now, <laughs> my first year. So I wish you the best. Always come and visit us on the third floor. Look at your teachers also. They are here to celebrate with you. And I wrote this in your yearbook, but I wanted to mention it again. And always remember, we are Woodlands Falcons flying high. We, we, with teamwork and effort, we can reach the sky. We show respect and responsibility and learn to be the best that we can be. Have a happy, healthy, and restful summer. Okay, guys? We are going to start with the program, and the first we're going to have is Ms. Johnson, who's going to be presenting the awards Academic Excellence in Art. Good morning. I am privileged to pass out the uh, Art Awards for Ms. Newby this morning. I just wanted to say that we are so fortunate this year to have an exceptionally high rate of talent, not both, excuse me, not just academically, but also artistically and musically. It's been a banner year for us. So thank all of you for all of your efforts. 
Our first award is most outstanding to Courtney Cruz. You should have gotten one Thank you. Our most improved goes to Christopher Yataco. And best effort goes to Katrina Hughes. Mr. Dennison? Being a band director, it seemed appropriate to be on stage. Good morning, everyone. Welcome. Um, I have to say, it's a very difficult and arduous task to narrow a field of so many talented students. Uh, each student is exceptional in every way, and it was a privilege and honor to have each and one of your children this year in band class. Uh, one of the most difficult things is to pass on the baton uh, with them because um, um, I will truly miss them, uh, but it's also wonderful to see how they grow and how they soar um, as they go into high school. So today, it's a distinct honor to uh, narrow the field down to three uh, individuals. Uh, the first award goes to Jake Morton for Most Outstanding. Please come up, Jake. Shake your hands. Excellent job. Bravo. Thank you. The next award goes to Kalani Ledisma for Most Improved. Please come up. Shake your hand. Excellent job, Robin. Thank you. You're welcome. And finally, uh, for best effort, Louise Espinel. Please come on up. Excellent job, Bravo. Thank you very much. Let's give him a big round of applause. These awards go out to most outstanding, most improved, and best effort in chorus. You are all exceptional, and I cannot wait for high school for all of you. Our first award, most outstanding, goes to Elizabeth Kreitzberg <laughs> and Donovan Russell. Most improved goes out to Serena Suleiman. <laughs> and today, best effort goes out to Lindsay Lopez. Is she not here? And, and I'll pass this over to you. You're going to use the. Yep. Okay. That's what I was doing. Hello, good morning. <clears throat> I'm Mr. Dakarski, and I'll be uh, giving the awards for Earth Science. And just to reiterate what Dr. Ivinson said, don't rush to grow up because all you got to look forward to is gray hair, <laughs> unless you're maybe Mr. Smith. And bills. Lots and lots of bills. <laughs> All right, so Most Outstanding Earth Science, uh, this award goes to a gentleman who is uh, just an outstanding student. That is Mr. Jake Morton. <laughs> Next award for Earth Science is Most Approved. 
And I told this student that I would get her name right by June, and that is Kira Eaglehart. Effort goes to a student who is a little bit, uh, she likes rocks and she doesn't know it yet. That's Karina Paute. I'm Miss Vasta. I am the language and literature teacher. Um, also, parents, if you do want to take pictures with the students, you can. So don't feel like, you know, you don't. You can come up and take some photos. Um, the language and literature awards. First and foremost, you guys are all talented writers and readers and continue to read as much as you're like, reading, we have to read today? Yes, continue to read, continue to write, and honestly, I admire literature so much because this is people's stories and I want you guys to tell your story. So continue to write and share your story. Okay, the first award goes to uh, most outstanding is Jake Morton. Most improved, Courtney Cruz. Um, we also have Kayla Peralta for most improved. We have best effort, Kiana Solis. <laughs> and lastly, for best effort, Sarai Pierce. Congratulations. Hi, everybody. I'm Sally Renolfson, and I teach English language arts. I have had the pleasure of having my students for two years, both in seventh and eighth grade, and it has truly been an amazing journey from seventh to eighth grade to watching my students grow both academically and socially. So you are all winners in my book, no matter what. So hopefully you will all be back next year, and I'm looking forward to also possibly working with you next year as well. For English language arts, for my class, the most outstanding goes to Christopher Yataco. <laughs> so I've had Christopher for two years, and no matter what task I give the class, he will always go over and beyond what my expectations are. If we're reading the book Refugee, he will research all the different refugees coming into America and other countries, and he will bring that information to me and to the class. So he is also challenging me as well. Thank you, Christopher. Thank you. 
The student for most improved is Christina Sheffield. Christina for two years as well. I have watched her um, become much more motivated academically. She is pushing herself beyond measures. Her writing has improved. She is adding much more detail to everything she's doing and I'm just really impressed with how she has grown as a student. And finally, I have a Best Attitude Award for English Language Arts, and that is also going to Christopher Yataka. <laughs> Christopher's attitude is um, very high each day and each day he will ask me what are we doing what are we doing next week what are we doing next month he is just highly motivated to learn any topic that I give them so thank you Christopher Good morning. My name is Kathy Blank, and I am an English as a new language teacher here at Woodlands. And it is my pleasure to give these awards to three students who show grit and perseverance, who do not let the fact that English is a new language for them stop them in their pursuit of getting the best education that they can. So first, I would like to call up the most outstanding English as a new language student, Mayron Chavez Cardenas. Congratulations, Mayron. Much deserved. <laughs> Next, I would like to call up Isaac. Kishpe for the Most Improved in English as a New Language Award. <laughs> truly earned, truly earned. And last, for the best ever in English as a New Language, Maria Fernanda Sotelo Castillo. Come on up, Maria. Even the obstacle of getting out of the seat is not too much for Maria. And now Mr. Kennedy will come up and give some more awards. What's up, eighth grade? Um, in addition to teaching the high school uh, performing groups and IB music, I get to have some fun with some of you in our general music classes where we do all sorts of fun stuff, right? Um, so the first award is for most outstanding, and this student, quiet as she is, you would not believe the talent that this kid has, picking up on new instruments, writing her own songs, and she's also a huge fan of musical theater and knows all the answers to those questions. Uh, Miss Avery Powell. At the beginning of the year, I made a bet with my eighth period, eighth period class that I could get all of them to sing before the end of the year. And my most improved award is going to actually the last holdout, 
Um, but he eventually caved, although he'll tell you humming doesn't count. Um, Aaron G. Marie. And finally, my best effort award goes to a kid who shows a lot of leadership in my first period class, Mr. Shane Shigley. Now, please welcome Dr. Yang to present the Mandarin Awards. Hello, everyone. Uh, I am Dr. Hui Qin Yang, the Mandarin program. And I'm glad uh, to learn with my students that they start from scratch, scratch to be able to speak the daily dialogue. They, are, they were also confident to perform on the stage sing the Chinese song and also dance Chinese dance and the Taiwanese folk dance. So today there are three awards. The first one, most outstanding, goes to Jake Morton. Thank you. The second most improved award goes to Sophia Isabel Rees. Thank you. The best ever goes to Frida Fernando Tecalaro. Yeah. I'm glad that my students make their best effort to learn a very difficult language. And uh, we sing Chinese songs, we learn dialogues, we learn passages, and we learn Chinese dance, folk dance in class, also folk activities. Thank you, Frida. Thank you. Next one. Eh? Our next teacher. Hello, everybody. Hello, parents. Hello, students. Eighth graders, congratulations. Y'all made it. Um, I had a pleasure of knowing most of y'all through seventh and eighth grade. Um, and before you guys ask, yes, we are still going to do work later <laughs> when we get to class, all right? Um, so I will be presenting our math awards for most outstanding. Um, I have Ann Elizabeth Alfie. For most improved, I have Katrina Hughes. Take the short route. Congratulations, Katrina. Congrats. And for best effort, once again, Christopher Yataco. You're getting a workout today, huh? I'll meet you halfway. Congrats, Christopher. Uh, next up is Ms. Mailman. Thank you. Good morning and congratulations to all of you. It's my distinct honor and pleasure to award our Physical Education Department Awards. For most outstanding Elizabeth Kreitzberg, and J.J. James Jones III. Congratulations. 
Thank you. Well, congratulations. Our most improved, Kayla Peralta and Zion Marshall. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. And for best effort, Jake Morton and Tatiana Michelle Washington. Congratulations. Thank you. Please welcome my colleague, Steve Printo, our adaptive physical educator. Thank you, Ms. Mailman. How's everybody doing today? Um, so I have a very special award. Um, one of my students uh, for adaptive phys ed, he, in the beginning of the year, we did about 20 chair squats. And as of last week, he was able to do 75. So I want to present the most outstanding student in my physical education class to Dylan Powell. Thank you, guys. And next up, I believe, is Miss Shea. Okay, so Mr. Grant and I are from the science department and we're going to present most outstanding, most improved, and best effort. Um, so I guess I'll begin. Um, for most outstanding, this is a student who is the first in the classroom every day, does everything that he's uh, told to do, um, never misses a beat, uh, Benjamin Nunez. Good morning, uh, Mr. Grant, as you all have heard. Uh, my most outstanding uh, student, this is a student who consistently not only has excellence in uh, performance with uh, science, but namely also in terms of character and positivity, which is huge. Uh, this assignment and this award goes most outstanding to Caitlin Marie Matthew. Okay, the next award goes to uh, most improved, and this is a student who I've definitely seen improvement um, each quarter, um, and I really think that she's come a long way. This is for Shari Emus. For most improved uh, for science for my class, uh, this student is, you can never, you can always know that she will basically put forth her authentic self uh, in terms of letting you know how she's doing and she's passionate basically whatever direction she's going. And um, I'm just grateful that she's applied it to most improved. Uh, this most approved award goes to Kaylin Peralta. Kayla Peralta. Oh, okay. 
Do you mind holding it just for yeah. now? Okay, uh, I'm not sure if this student is here, uh, but undoubtedly there's a lot of different things you can put for best effort. Uh, and this student had a, as we all have gone through the pandemic, they've had a lot of mountains to be climbed, whether it be academically, um, socially, or even more that go underneath the radar. Uh, and for this student to consistently do well uh, has been quite, Outstanding. Uh, so, if the student is here, the most, the best effort award goes to Chandler Edwards. Okay. All, right. All right. So, I think we'll move on to Miss Brown with social studies. graders, congratulations, and I wish you guys the best in high school. Let's get right to it. So for this student, the most outstanding in social studies goes to Jake Morton. For most improved, I would like to acknowledge Joseph Angelillo as the most improved in social studies. Congratulations. And for best effort, Ms. Kiana Solis. Going our own way. <laughs> Congratulations. No problem. And now I'll give you guys Miss Canavan. Good morning, everybody. Buenos días. Yo soy la profesora Canavan. Yo enseño español. I'm Mrs. Canavan, I teach Spanish. Uh, second language acquisition is no longer a luxury, it's a necessity, guys. So, la aprende, el aprender español o una segunda lengua no es un lujo, es una necesidad. Voy a empezar a llamar a los estudiantes. I'm going to begin calling you guys. It was very hard to choose, but I have a few. Most outstanding effort I have is Isabella Cabezas. Good job, Isabella. Also, for most outstanding effort, I want to call Natalie Rosette Bruno. Okay, most improved, Kiana Solis. Now, I have um, best effort, and it was hard to choose, but I pick three students. I want Keilani de Lesma, Karina Sofia Paute, y Ariana Reyes, por favor, al frente. Come on, girls, you guys deserve this. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, 
Woodlands Middle School, we do a lot. Uh, science standards are changing. We're trying to incorporate more um, STEAM type activities, experiences. Uh, this award is, a, is an experience that I have in my eighth grade class and I have these students uh, participate in outside of the school in a competition. Um, these two individuals, these two ladies who are able to incorporate art into some scientific data and they came runner up in a competition between about 40 or 50 schools. Uh, that is Caroline Davis and Frida. Thank you. Thank you. Trying to put the paper clips away. All right, and technology is also incorporated a lot. Miss Manny does a lot. She doesn't like to speak. Um, so most outstanding in technology is Jake Morton. <laughs> most improved goes to Katrina Hughes. And last but not least, best effort goes to Kira Engelhart. <laughs> IB lady. Good morning, everybody. I'm Catherine Tovar. I'm an English teacher here and also the Middle Years Program Coordinator for the International Baccalaureate Program. I'm here to honor four students who embody the learner profile. These are students of our school community who not only show respect for themselves, but others and the world around them. So when I call your name, please come up. We have Caroline Amina Davis. Caitlin Marie Mathy. Jake Morton. We need to count his awards at the end. He's buying us all lunch. Congratulations. And lastly, Jaden Samuel. Congratulations to all the students who embody the learner profiles. Good morning, my name is Katie Fraterola and I'm the middle school life skills teacher here. And it's 
with great pleasure that I have some achievement awards to distribute today for my students. Um, the first award goes to a student who um, never missed a day, can't keep him away, even with a fractured ankle. So that was perfect attendance award for Shane Shigley. Next award goes to a student who, whether you asked him to take out a simple test like a pencil or a notebook, open up your Chromebook, um, you never had to ask him twice. And not only that, he was always very ready, ready to be helpful to um, a friend in need. So the always prepared award goes to Quavon Little. This next award goes to a student who basically um, created our art wall in our classroom and we really appreciate his continuous effort to visually represent his artistic ability on a regular basis and he's been so motivating and inspiring to those around him that um, it really helps strengthen our classroom community and we would not be what we are today without our most artistic student, Jonathan Juarez. Okay, and this next award goes to a writer in our classroom who um, kept us engaged as readers along the way when he was prevent presenting his novel. He kept us in suspense with every chapter um, that he added, and he, he made us laugh as well with all the humor he added to his story that's filled with all, all that and more. So this Talented Writer Award goes to Logan Davis. everybody. Thank you so much. Uh, next we have Miss Rosario. Thank you. Good morning my lovely eighth graders. Congratulations. I'm so proud of all of you. You're going to high school. The next four years of your life are going to be great, amazing, challenging, but the best experience to come yet. So today I am presenting the SEL Kindness Awards. Um, the first one goes to Natalie Bruno. The second student is Jordan Campbell. Good 
good job. Katrina Hughes. Mohammed Abraham. I sing it. You're welcome. Jeriel Kispe Contento. Evelyn Pina. Where's Evelyn? Giovanni Robinson. Good job, Gio. And last but not least, Tatiana Washington. Good job, everyone. Thank you. Good afternoon again. Um, I am back to give a little additional recognition to the National Junior Honor Society students. These students were all inducted a few weeks ago, but we would just like to give them a little additional recognition in front of their peers. They have been inducted into the National Junior Honor Society because they have maintained a grade point average over 90. They show citizenship, character, leadership, and of course, they perform community service. So when I call your name, please stand so that we can give you the recognition you are due. Please hold your applause to the end. There's a bit of a list. Sebastian Benitez, Eli Chinko, Carolyn Davis, Henry Fleming, stand, stand. Giovanni Gallimberti, Elizabeth Kreitzberg, Caitlin Mathy, Jake Morton, Ariana Reyes, Jaden Samuel, Frida Tecalero, Nicole Tomala, Kailani Ledesma, Kiana Solis, Justin Takori. Congratulations. And now we'll do the presentation of the eighth grade students moving up. So guys, uh, good morning, sorry, excuse me. Let's hold our applause to the end. We are just going to say the students' names just to recognize them. They're going to stand on right by their seat and we'll just have a round of applause to congratulate them at the end. Thank you. Okay, so our eighth graders moving up to high school is Lindsay Abejong, and Alfie, Joseph Angelillo, Natalie Arellano, Sebastian Benitez, Natalie Bruno, Isabella Cabeza, Cabezas, John Calderon, 
Jordan Campbell, Jillian Castro, Mayrin Chavez, Billy Chun, Noah Cherubin, Eli Cinco, Michael Colon, Courtney Cruz, Jared Cuevas, Carolyn Davis, Logan Davis, Chandler Edwards, Ashari Amuse, Louis Espinal, Henry Fleming, Vanessa Franklin, Giovanni Gallenberti, James Gallagher, Joseph Gallagher, Jaden Gaston, Leslie Gill, Adrian Gonzalez, Naisha Graham, Olivia Guerrero, Jalen Hall, Justin Hernandez, Ariana Higgins, Kelani, sorry, Kayana Holder, Jalen Holmes, Katrina Hughes. Hello everyone, my name is Leah Servidio. I'm the school psychologist at Woodlands. <laughs> Thank you. Um, we have Muhammad Ibrahim, Kira Eigelhart, Amir Jackson, Ava Marie James, Aaron Jean Mary, Maya Jimenez, James Jones III, Emily Joseph, Jonathan Juarez, Holly Kelly, Elizabeth Kreitzberg, Joelle Labanda, Kehlani Ladisma, Maria Leon, Quavon Little, London Llewellyn, Wilson Loja, Elijah Lopez, Irvi Marku, Zion Marshall, Aiden Martinez, Caitlin Mathy, Sean McKenney, Joanna Mendez Garcia, Angie Manchalo, Aviana Moore, Jace Morales, Jake Morton, Nehemiah Mundo, Ryder Ang, Alexandra Nichols, Benjamin Nunez, Lindsay Orzuna, Sebastian Pizig, Karina Payu, Andrew Pina, Kayla Peralta, Corinne Perone, Sarai Pierce, yeah. Evelyn Pina, Sawyer uh, Pendea, yeah. Leah Polit, Cranasia Porter, Avery Powell, and Dylan Powell. Good morning, I'm Ms. Scherer, I'm the math teacher and I coach track and I'm just gonna read the rest. Um, it's Jarrell Isaac Kishpe Contento, Ariana Reyes, Giovanni Chase Robinson, Aiden Xavier Rodriguez, Leo Ray Romero, Javier Alexander Rosso, Sophia Isabel Ruiz, Donovan Russell, Jaden Samuel, Sarah Sanchez, Emily Diana Sarimaita, Christina Desiree Sheffield, Shane Shigley, Isaiah Legend Scrine, Kiana Solis, Maria Fernanda Sotelo Castillo, Serena Suleiman, Justin Takuri, Frida Fernanda Takelero, uh, Jennifer Marisol Tanasaka, Cole Abraham Nathaniel Thompson, Sabia Pauletta Thorpe, Nicole Tamala, Javier Uloa Lopez, Rachel Camila Verdin Castillo, Solomon William Walthall, Tatiana Michelle Washington, Ethan Aaron Watson, Aiden Sanai White Marquez, Aaron Woodbury, Anila Wright, Christopher Yurtaco, and Millie Jungo. The class of this year, eighth grade. Woo! Thank you parents and family members for coming to help us celebrate our eighth grade class. There is a step and repeat outside if you want to take a picture with your children. They'll go upstairs again to finish off their day. Thank you so much.